solve this transcendental equation, where, x and y are real numbers. There are two variables in one equation. So, multiple solutions may exist. Clearly, x y equals 0 0 is a trivial solution. How to find other solutions? It's apparent that, if x is greater than 0, then the left hand side of the equation is greater than 0. So, y must be greater than 0. Similarly, if y is greater than 0, then, x must be greater than 0. That is, for x y to be a solution, both x and y must have the same sign. Since each side of the equation has only one variable. So, finding a parametric solution, by expressing variables x and y in terms of a parameter t, might be easier. We let x equal t, where, t is a real number. Then equation 1 becomes, y times 3 to the power of y, equals t times 2 to the power of t. We can solve the equation using the Lambert W function. The first step is to transform the equation into the form, g of x, times e to the power of g of x, equals a number v. Where, v is a constant or an expression independent of x. The second step is to apply the Lambert W function to both sides of the equation. By definition, w of g of x, times e to the power of g of x, equals g of x. The final step is to solve for x, in the equation g of x equals w of v. To transform the equation into the form, we rewrite 3 to the power of y, as e to the power of lin of 3 to the power of y. Lin of 3 to the power of y, is equal to, y times lin of 3. Multiply both sides of the equation by lin of 3. Now, we have transformed the equation into the form. Apply the Lambert W function to both sides of the equation. The left-hand side of the equation is, y times lin of 3. Divide the equation by lin of 3, we have, y equals w of t times 2 to the power of t, times lin of 3, over lin of 3. So, a parametric solution xy equals t, w of t times 2 to the power of t, times lin of 3, over lin of 3. It seems that there are indefinitely many solutions. For a specific value of t, there is a corresponding solution x, y. Is this true? And, what values can t take? If t equals 0, then, x, y equals 0, w of 0 over lin of 3. Note that, w of 0 is 0. So, the corresponding solution x, y equals 0, 0. That is the trivial solution that we mentioned earlier. If t equals 1, then, x, y equals 1 w of 2 times lin of 3, over lin of 3. 2 times lin of 3, is equal to, 2.197. w of 2.197 is approximately equal to, 0.896. So, the corresponding solution x y is approximately equal to, 1, 0.816. What about the case, when t equals negative 1? If t equals negative 1, then, x y equals negative 1, w of negative 0 0.549, over lin of 3. But, w of negative 0 0.549, has no real values. So, when t equals negative 1, the equation has no real solutions. Why? The graph of the Lambert W function looks like that. The domain of the Lambert W function is the interval, negative 1 over e inclusive to infinity. Negative 1 over e is approximately equal to, negative 0.368. As negative 0.549, is less than negative 0.368. So, w of negative 0.549, has no real values. We also know that, the real valued Lambert w function is not a single bijective function. It is a multivalued relation. To make it a standard function, we split it into branches w0 branch, and w-1 branch. So, for a specific value of t, the Lambert w function might have two different values. As the Lambert w function is real valued, only when its argument is greater than or equal to, negative 1 over e. So for w to be real valued, t times 2 to the power of t, 
times lin of 3, must be greater than or equal to, negative 1 over e. As lin of 3 is greater than 0, so dividing the inequality by lin of 3, does not change the sign. So, we have, t times 2 to the power of t, is greater than or equal to, negative 1 over e times lin of 3. We know that, 2 to the power of t, can be written as, e to the power of t times lin of 2. As lin of 2 is greater than 0, so multiplying the inequality by lin of 2, does not change the sign. So, we have, t times lin of 2, times e to the power of t times lin of 2, is greater than or equal to, negative lin of 2, over e times lin of 3. Since negative lin of 2, over e times lin of 3, is approximately equal to, negative 0.232, which is greater than negative 1 over e. So, it is in the domain of the Lambert W function. Since the argument is less than 0, but greater than or equal to negative 1 over e. So, the Lambert W function has two real values, w0 and w negative 1. We can see from the graph that, the dashed green line represents x equals negative lin of 2, over e times lin of 3. It intersects the Lambert W function at two points, one on the w0 branch, and the other on the w negative 1 branch. Apply the Lambert W function to the inequality. There are two cases, either t times lin of 2, is greater than or equal to, w0 of, negative lin of 2, over e times lin of 3. Or t times lin of 2, is less than or equal to, w negative 1 of, negative lin of 2, over e times lin of 3. For the w0 branch, t is greater than or equal to, w0 of, negative lin of 2, over e times lin of 3, over lin of 2. W0 is approximately equal to, negative 0.319. So, T is greater than or equal to, negative 0.461. For the W negative 1 branch, T is less than or equal to, W negative 1 of, negative lin of 2, over E times lin of 3, over lin of 2. W negative 1 is approximately equal to, negative 2.288. So, T is less than or equal to, negative 3.302. We previously asked whether for a specific value of t, there is a corresponding solution x, y. We have shown that, the answer is no. When t is in the interval, w negative 1 of negative lin of 2, over e times lin of 3, over lin of 2, w 0 of negative lin of 2, over e times lin of 3, over lin of 2, which is approximately in the interval, negative 3.302, negative 0.461, there are no solutions. And for some negative values of t, there are two corresponding solutions. For example, when t equals negative 3.303, xy equals negative 3.303, w of negative 0.3677, over lin of 3. As negative 0.3677, is less than 0, but greater than or equal to negative 1 over e. So, the Lambert W function has two real values, W0 and W-1. W0 is approximately equal to, negative 0.966. W-1 is approximately equal to, negative 1.035. So, there are two corresponding solutions. XY is approximately equal to, negative 3.303, negative 0.897 or negative 3.303, negative 0.942.